Hey guys, it's Tepco Psych Repair. Today we're going to be pulling out this old 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine and throwing in one of those new Predator engines, those uh, 212 Predator engines from Harbor Freight. This engine right here is old 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton. If you guys have messed with small engines at all, you know this engine. It's been around a long time. It needs work, it needs carburetor, it needs a tank. The, the cost of those, because I don't put China stuff on these, I, I'm, I just put genuine parts, it's going to cost more than one of those engines. The new engines run cleaner, uh, they're quieter. They're just the whole setup is, is just a newer setup. You can shut the fuel off for running out of gas in the winter time and things like that you can't do with these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing off of here. I'm gonna clean it all up and I'll show you what it takes to put one of those predator engines on. So it should be pretty simple. Let me get to it. Should be the same size as what's on the Predator, three quarter inch. All right, guys, I'm not going to do a long, drawn out, slow unboxing, but I am just going to pull this thing out of here so you can see. Now, the model number that I went with, there's two different kinds of these engines. One is the Hemi, and, and this one is this one is the earlier one. It's the non-Hemi. These have been getting better reviews. The um, item number of this one is. Nine, I'm sorry, 69730. 69730 is the number of this one. Item number. Woo! I love new engines. All right, so the first problem that I ran into here is that this keyway that it comes with is pretty long. And the, um, the groove for the keyway in this is short. I don't know if you can be able to see it in there, but... It's only about half the distance right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this down, probably just halfway, just pull that uh, keyway out and cut it down halfway, and we should be good. All right, there you go, cut down, ready to go. I'll also line that up with the chain and everything, but we're getting along here. I'm going to top it off with oil, uh, check spark. i got to set up the kill switch for the uh, switch that's on the steering column. So let me get it filled up with oil. Should be enough. And also, you don't thread the dipstick in. You just stick it in and take it out. I'll show you on that right there, okay? Good. All right. So we're good on oil right there. Let's move on. All right, so for this application, the way this can be mounted, I need the pull start to be this way. So the easy thing about these is all you gotta do is rotate this. Pop these off right here. All right, and then we go there. All right, so the kill switch I'm using here is one of these simple switches. It uses the outside as a ground, and then there's your connector to the ground. That's on and that's off. All right, so all I did is you run it's a single wire. You take it and you find your um, ground wire right here. All right, and I just pulled it apart, stuck the wire inside, and attach it to the inside there. See that black one on the bottom? And then put it back together again. That's all you got to do. So now in the on position, okay, see the spark right there? We'll get spark here. Okay, and then in the off position. Nothing. 
That's all there is to it in a kill switch. Now we got a kill switch up there, and then we have one over here. If the dad wants to reach out and shut it off, he can shut it off here. Or if they're riding it, they can just shut it off up in the front. Okay, so with this engine mounted in here, the only issue that I see right now is that with that one, the front part of it, okay, over here, <clears throat> there was like nothing there, so you're able to slide it forward. This one here, we can't slide it forward and back to get the chain tight because this, uh, this roll bar here has been added on <clears throat> and it's making contact with it right here and I can't slide it enough forward. So I'm going to look at it and see if I can make some adjustments. So either slide it forward or back or shim the motor a little bit to make up for it. Got just a couple washers in there will probably fix it. So uh, let me get, uh, but you will be able to adjust it. So let me work on that a little bit because yeah, that's touching there. And then this right here is uh, just about touching their frame here. All right, so I just have to make a little bend in this right here. It's creaked it right there, just a little bend, and I repainted it. And uh, so it's just gonna come right down. I'll have to pull it forward probably a hair. I'll know when I get the motor back in, but I just needed like uh, maybe a uh, half an inch. So we should have that. All right, guys, so we are all in. Everything looks good. I got the clearance here. I made that little bend. That's perfect right there. As far as the uh, cable goes, I got the cable pinched right there. And then uh, the cable in right there, just clamped on. It comes with this. It comes with the engine. The um, On this side here, you got to make sure these cables are secure on both sides. Otherwise, when you step on the throttle, it'll just yank this side out or the other side. You got to make sure both sides are tight, whatever... Whatever method you decide to use, this is how this one is set up here. Just, just a bicycle cable sitting inside there. Um, it just goes through, sits up. I have the cable just supported here because I don't want it to interfere with that. Uh, and everything is set up. It has the governor still on it because this is a young kid riding this thing. We have this turn the way we want it so we can easily pull it. Um, everything, uh, everything looks good. I'm going to get some gas, put some gas in it. And, uh, oh yeah, the kill switch. I got the kill switch set up. Remember I showed you that? So I got the kill switch sitting right there. And that is set up here. So right now I got the switch here in the on position. And then this one here is in the off. So just flip it on, pull it, shut it off right there. Done. Nice and simple. So let me get some gas, put it in this thing. I already filled it up with oil. Um, and we'll fire it up. All right, guys. To give you an idea how long this took, I started on this project today at about 5... Five o'clock. It is 9:45, same day, um, and I ran to Walmart to get some brake cleaner. And it took me. Oh Jesus! Hang on, stand by. That took me about. Uh, that took me about an hour. I had dinner. Came back and finished this. So it didn't really didn't take long at all to do it. A little more than half. So I'm going to go ahead and give this thing its first uh, pull, and we'll see how it starts. I see a lot of videos of guys starting these things in the first pull when it's brand new. That would be cool. So let's see. Switches are on on. We're going to have the throttle set up to the throttle cable here for the pedal. So we'll put the choke on full right there. Gas is in on position now. No spark. All right, I have to switch on off. All right, start over again. All right, now both switches are on on. So now let's try it. seems pretty good everything looks like it's set up good I had the switch in the off position up there that's why I wouldn't start in those first couple pulls but it is all together now seems like it's running fine um, we'll get it out to the street and take it for a run yeah everything looks good in here yeah all right well guys hopefully this helps you out and shows you how easy it is to convert one of these take those old Briggs off and throw this one on there and uh, we'll put it out in the, in the street and see how it goes It's a great alternative, guys. I would uh, highly recommend it. Well, hopefully this helped you out and you like this, guys. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.